Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on wallpaper display and brightness. So I'm going to show you how to update your change your wallpaper, which is for most people the most one of the most fun things about the iPad or the iPhone is changing your background or wallpaper is what they call it. And let me show you something first. There's two different things that you can customize. If I turn this off and then I just press the home button. This is called your lock screen. You can have a picture here and this is your home screen. You can have a different picture here or you can have them the same. And so how do we change that? How do we get to the fun? <laughs> you go into settings and then uh, on here are your apps that you can customize and this is the one you have highlighted. On the phone it will be two separate screens because it's smaller. Right. So if we go down and we find wallpaper, I tap on that. This is showing you right now what you've got set up for your lock screen and your home screen. Right. Now if I tap on choose a new wallpaper, we have several different options. The first one is called dynamic. Ooh. And if I tap on that, these actually move around. Oh. Yeah. Um, they came out with iOS 7 and everybody thought they were really fun. They do suck your battery. They do. They do. And a lot of people got vertigo. <laughs> yeah. It makes them sick. So right. you can test these out and see if you like them. And the next one is stills. They're just stock photos that Apple has that you can choose from. Right. And some of them are not just photos, but colored backgrounds. Like we have this pink oh, one right. now. Because yeah. yeah. sometimes a photo on the home screen is kind of distracting. It is. Yeah. It has to be the right kind of photo. So I'm going to navigate back out. And then the third option for picking one is you can go into your photos. And you see it says photos, and then it says all photos, favorites, and then any folders and things like that you have selected. Right. So why don't I go ahead and go into... Favorites, maybe? Favorites. That would make sense, right? And let's find a cute one of Billy. Oh. Is that Billy? Or yeah, that's Billy. <laughs> that's Jazzy back My there. My sister's horse. And so you can see then, once I've chosen a photo or an, a colored background, um, down here it says set lock screen, which is that first screen I showed you, or set home screen, or set both. Mm. I'm going to do just the lock screen. All right. And if I go back out, you'll see my home screen is the same, but if I look at my lock screen, there, there it is. is. Nice. So that's pretty, uh, wallpaper is pretty simple. Pretty fun though. I like to put pictures of my boys up or my pets. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Now you go back here to choose again and... You're back out. You're back out. And if you pick another, you know, if you want to go into stills and you want to pick, let's say we want to put that as our desktop, our home screen. We'll set home screen just to show you how that changes. And you can see, see how it doesn't really work very well. I mean, some people like that, but it, what? for me, it bugs me because the apps oh, are like sitting on the photo. photo. Do you? Yeah, and I like that one. I think that one's That cool. one is pretty, yeah. It doesn't work so well for us teaching people. Right. So uh, let's show one more time how to go back and change it. We'll change it to a plain background again. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to choose. We, of course, like the pink because that's kind of our deal, right? Yeah. Set home screen. And there we go. And there we go. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to take a look at um, display and brightness. And we're going to navigate. Notice that when we came back into settings, we were right where we left it. Mm -hmm. And we're in kind of a sub-menu of the wallpaper. We're in this section here because we have a back arrow. Um, we kind of find it's a good idea to like go back to general or do something, get back out to somewhere so when you come back in, you're not wondering where you are. We're going to take a look at display and brightness. And basically, you have a brightness control that you can set the how bright your screen is. So if your screen ends up somehow being really dim and you don't know how, you can come in here and you can brighten it up. Um, Auto brightness I have turned on, which is great because the iPad will actually adapt depending on what kind of lighting you're in. If you're in a dark room, it's going to dim it down. Um, and if you're in a bright, you know, it'll, it'll make it brighter. So right. that's nice. It is nice. The next two things we have are text size and bold text. Um, text size will allow you to make some of the type, dynamic type, bigger or smaller. Right. Now the key about this is you have to turn it on first. 
kind of confusing. It's kind of confusing because I don't you know don't. Why, they didn't put it in one why area. didn't they put <laughs> it in here? You can't turn it on in here. So we're going to go and show you how to turn on larger type. So you're going to go to the general tab, mm -hmm. and then to accessibility. Mm -hmm. Very confusing. Yep. And then <laughs> right here, larger text, and you want it to be green. So if yep. yours isn't green, tap on it, and that'll turn yep. it on. Notice here, you can also drag the slider here. And notice, not all the type on the page is changing. Like this type isn't changing, but this is. Mm -hmm. So what type is going to be affected? Type in emails, messages, um, notes that you might create, some websites. Right. Yep. So Which can be very handy. It can be handy, but don't make it too big because then it might be hard to read. If you, right. if you find something looks really jumbled, the type is like overlapping, you probably need to come in here and make it smaller. So this is where you turn it on or off, and you can also do the size here, but when we are back in display and brightness... Now that it's on, I can come in here and I get that slider again, and I can do the same thing right. that we were doing in there. Just, just can't turn it on and off in here. Uh, bold text is another thing that's nice especially on the iPhone. Um, when yeah. iOS 7 came out, they went with a lighter look, and you can tap here, and it'll make the type a little bit bolder. It does restart your iPad, but it doesn't take very long. It says, are you sure it'll restart? Yeah. It goes out, it restarts, it comes back on. Now... <clears throat> this is the like system font. Right, this is system the system type. font. System type. The app name. Right, you here, can see the clock is thicker. Yeah, I find um, I like this one. We'll go back in to These settings. Are all thicker. Yeah, everything is thicker. thicker bolder. Really nice on the on the phone. Yeah. So. Well, that's our 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 tech bit on uh, wallpaper display and brightness. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit, and please subscribe to our channel.